Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the weekend recap number 16 of our official series, where we watch some moments from this past weekend stream on our server with some of my commentary. And as always, the server and Discord links are in the description. I'll also include timestamps for the different tracks in the video, so feel free to jump around if there are any that catch your eye. But today, we're actually starting on Clutch Kickers. Most of you, I'm sure, know this track, and you'll notice I'm actually in a different car, if you can imagine that. I'm in the uh, Smoky Chaser JZX100. And uh, basically every month we do rotations and votes on what cars from the Swarm V2 pack we want to include. Uh, this month, unfortunately, my uh, beloved E46 did not win. So I tried a couple uh, different cars out and uh, I've always loved the Chaser, man. I think it has a really good sound to it. Uh, I really like the way that the audio is done on it. So I said, hey, I'm going to run it and I'm going to actually talk about that later in the video when we get into our Saturday. But yeah, here, uh, another thing I just want to mention, we were doing some server optimization and some stress testing. Um, I won't get into the specifics here on this video, but basically we're testing a, a lot of different ways that it, the client connects to the server. And uh, we basically, I think, got that nailed down pretty well. So uh, yeah, we were, this video is maybe a little bit short, a little less tracks than normal but that was a lot of our friday shout out to everyone who came through and helped test uh if you guys are on the discord make sure you keep an eye out i always love to have uh, people test new things out and speaking of new things testing out we also swapped out our day and night cycle for weather transition so instead of days and nights we're going to do like foggy cloudy rainy and hopefully you'll see some of that throughout this video actually too so now our second track on Friday was Nexus City. This is a map from C. Toretto. Wanted to give, as always on these new tracks, a couple leads and then a couple chases. Now, I think with this weekend, uh, I was a little bit more on the lead focus for some reason. Uh, and for some reason, I would mainly say the chaser I was trying to get more accustomed to, get acclimated to it it's a lot different of a car drives much differently so uh i'm just trying to fill it out and uh see how i wanted to drive it or what makes sense and, and like i said i'm gonna get that into that more on our saturday session but let's talk about the nexus city line so basically here uh you'll see these little blue cones throughout the track so these are going to be really good uh areas to aim for not exactly hit but you just kind of want to aim for them so here going out to that blue outside cone blue outside cone here now here you're going to see a blue cone coming up right about there and then here i think there's a blue cone to our right but i like to cut that inside and it helps you set up for that blue cone in this section another blue cone outside not as far out as i could have gone blue cone there to our left rotating out i don't always go for that blue cone because i think i pull a little bit too much speed for like a train so i keep a little more shallow blue cone there transition all the way out to this blue cone and uh blue cone here and then this blue cone i see a lot of people throw a little bit too much angle you want to keep your speed up and then just kind of yeet it i would almost say right here blue cone to blue cone and then boom you don't want to try to go too aggressive on the angle there i was trying a couple different lines the the more aggressive that uh that like if into a backy almost seems like it's really hard for you to be able to chase and you can hear uh 40k up in the lead position there he uh, voted for the Cowdoy, did a little bit of propaganda in the Discord, ended up winning. I think he uh, is a super big fan of it. If you haven't driven it, it's a really fun car to drive. It has a crazy sounding supercharger, which is pretty cool if you're in, into that kind of noise or uh, really like a pretty solid car. Definitely would recommend the Cowdoy. I was doing a little bit of testing in that as well. Uh, but yeah, here I'm just trying to keep my proximity with him. Uh, I don't think we've really driven this track a ton and, and when we have it was actually in a couple different car packs so I'm just really just trying to uh, stay within proximity try to maintain the train as best as I can it actually looks decently healthy a little bit of a breakage near the back but in P2 position as I've mentioned before you always want to work really hard to, to make sure that um, you're not <laughs> breaking the train apart and uh you know p2 p3 really important to keep everyone else together behind you and any mistake you make uh definitely translates to the rest of the train so just trying to stay close to him trying to uh mimic his lines and i think everyone has been taking this track a little bit differently here and there 
So really like this was a little bit earlier on, I think. And uh, yeah, I mean, a pretty good line from 40K. Definitely really easy to, to chase him on this. And I think now actually it's gonna take us to our next track. Uh, maybe I'm jumping the gun a little bit early. I think I am. But our next track here coming up is gonna be Ebisu Complex. Now, this was interesting for me. Um, I've driven some of the tracks on Ebisu Complex. I really haven't tried this toad course, but uh, Ebisu Complex was asked and requested, voted on by everyone in the stream, and so we switched over. So here I'm just trying to uh, really understand the lines and uh, fill it out myself. I don't think I even have any real chases on this one. I was just... Uh, Honestly, a little low key struggling on this track. Uh, this little hairpin was kind of crazy. But let me talk to you at least about what I was attempting to do. Not that it's like the best uh, example of what to do. So here, trying to go not, trying not to go too wide. Trying to stay a little inside so it's followable. And then you're kind of just going inside a little bit at mid is inside here, just keeping the speed up. Inside and then inside here, and you kind of. I think want to hug it a little bit to the outside, but you just kind of want to mid or inside line this section. And then here, inside line to like a, I guess that's more like an outside line. And then uh, I noticed if I was letting the car weight kind of transfer there, it was a lot better. But I know I've said it before, when I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable, I tend to gravitate towards the e-brake. So by why you're seeing the e-brake there. But then it was cool because this is Abisu Complex. Uh, I noticed a couple people over on the, I want to say this is the Nishi course. Ooh, I feel like I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, this section I saw a couple people cruising over, uh, chilling. So I said, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go uh, check that out. And this was actually pretty cool with the weather changes, more of an open complex with a bunch of drift zones. It was cool to have uh, so many different people in this section. But it was also kind of crazy like uh we had i think like 25 ish drivers or so and uh it was really hard to tell i think like everyone was uh doing their own thing on their own tracks with their own courses but it was interesting to see i was all the way i think around this time i was around the uh school or the training course i think it's called cool school course and uh yeah i was like oh man do i see people way down there and uh, with the fog, I mean, the, the mist, I'm not sure which one it was, but it was one of those two. You can kind of see the mountains just look absolutely gorgeous on this track. Um, Perma always does such a fantastic job with this track. So it was very immersive and you know how much I love my immersion. So uh, it was cool to just see some people uh, out there. And then uh, I was following them a little bit. And then I said, you know what? Why don't I go give them a lead? Uh, show them at least how I was taught to take this see if it translates if they uh enjoy that i think they were slowing down a little bit on that corner not taking the uphill and then uh right here at the top where i'm at is where they were basically going in so I, it was also interesting too i was running basically the same gear throughout most of this track minus the next one which uh i believe is minami i want to say so that's why i'm just like on the the rev limiter if i reset it or if i reset here rather um i would be all the way back at the beginning and it's a really uh, long drive back over here so but yeah here I, again i think it is minami uh, you know don't hate me if i'm wrong here but i haven't driven this track with the swarm v2 cars and i haven't driven this track in vr and man this jump right here actually is kind of low-key terrifying uh the first time in vr i was <laughs> pretty scared i mean after a little bit it kind of you know started to click a little bit but um still trying to like understand how to take this corner you can see a little bit of uh maybe not flailing but just not as smooth of a line uh on the down part but it really seems like with this uh course again i would not ever say i'm an expert here um or i would say like this is even good advice but i'll just kind of tell you at least what i'm looking to do um, and I've seen a lot of people take it different and I've learned a lot from following some people on this track too uh, Even though I'm trying to be like a little bit more conservative and not pe mess people up But yeah, so you'll see here basically you want to try to straighten as soon as you can go for this like inside Little spot and then you should basically you saw him actually kind of flick into there Which worked out really well for him. He's taking a, a really good line But when you go to that jump you kind of want to aim for those inside tires And then I think the rest of the track kind of just speaks for itself to be honest kind of go for this outside line No problem little transition action right here uh, another transition action here 
and then here you just kind of like run where those uh rubber marks are on the ground and uh here's me just trying to clutch kick trying really really hard to keep up again i was having a lot of issues with, with uh proximity on uh our friday session i think in general but you know for sure our friday session and then finally we move over to takamaki one of uh i think probably our favorites i would say just because uh it's a little bit technical but it's just uh generally pretty fun but yeah here i'm just trying to chase again figuring out this car on the different tracks trying to figure out the tuning still really love the sound of that engine and it's a little bit loud but i just I, honestly i do enjoy the uh the sound of it also speaking of sounds um what what i thought was interesting maybe while we're just talking here is uh I guess if you have your weather percentage up and your sound settings, by the way, uh, that equals tire screech for some reason. I would think that tires or I think it's like track uh, effects or something like those different uh, adjustments would affect the volume. But no, actually, it is the weather that gives you car uh, tire squeal. So if you're not a fan of that, I, th I think personally, it's a little obnoxious. Uh, if you're not a fan of that, you can always just turn down that uh, weather option kind of sucks though because we do have uh, or at least we did have throughout this rotation of weather uh thunderstorms which we i really couldn't hear uh the thunder i could just kind of see the lightning so it is what it is but i, I just couldn't get get over the uh, tire skills driving me absolutely nuts man so anyway man as i mentioned and kind of alluded to friday was kind of a wash for me so i said you know what i'm gonna try to fix this i'm gonna try to get this right so we switch over to brooklyn park now what is insane absolutely insane i think we actually spent maybe two two and a half hours doing tuning and by we i mean me uh shout out to purple jerry in the chat uh real homie helping me learn about the tune how to tune uh the different aspects that uh come into play i'll basically maybe say like uh the wheel speed or the spring rate option is a, a big thing for kind of making your car a lot more um mm, what's it called basically like man i'm definitely blanking on this word not as floaty a lot more like what you would assume like a lowered stance car kind of feels which i was really wanting to do right like i didn't want to have like a floatiness on rotations or transitions i was feeling the car with a little bit of uh, too much roll so mess with that got a lot more planted a lot more feeling like what i remember more of like my irl drift car was and then we messed with the toe um and then that you know in a general sense again uh, a little bit more toe is going to help you with grip psi as a general rule of thumb from what i understand you want to kind of mess with less and especially for those that are tuning a little bit in the swarm v2 cars uh the psi swarm recommends at the time of this video uh not to go really above or below uh plus plus two minus two psi in any of the tires that's going to be best for these cars so i uh, kind of you use that as a rule of thumb i don't really like to mess with the tire pressure but the toe is going to help here and what's crazy is i got this car, car dialed so well and it was feeling really 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 good but we did such a good job that it ended up being a chaser that is only really capable of leads i was struggling a lot in the chase position ironically enough uh which i think you, maybe you'll probably see throughout the rest of this video um but i really wanted to spend time get it as close as i could i already spent so much time um and i know the lobby was looking to switch tracks after staying on brooklyn for so long so i said you know what this is good enough i feel pretty confident with it but as i started going through these other tracks and doing a lot more of these other chases or at least attempting to i quickly realized that i should have uh, uh maybe made it a little bit different so that being said, we switch over to U.S. Airway, or sorry, U.S. Air Raceway. I don't know why I always say it that way. Um, but here we have that new tune, uh, tune that I just mentioned. Of course, everyone took the chaser and the last one was yellow because uh, that's what people voted for this month. Not a super huge fan of the yellow color, but I think uh, watching back in the replay with the track cam, actually not that bad, dude. Actually not that bad at all. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to uh, ride with this lead car. One thing I noticed immediately is there was a lot uh less of that bounciness it felt like a lot more of like a a drift car that is now on a bouncy track and you're just kind of having to work through it which i think that some would probably argue is terrible but uh i i really liked it again you know i'm a big realism guy real big immersion dude so i wanted that more like what a stance not a stance car excuse me but like a lower drift car like not a 
not a competition car right like let me just say like basically a grassroots car and i feel like this was a, a really good uh spot for this car at least for that man i i don't know why but I, my brain is like struggling to remember what i'm trying to say a stiff jeez <laughs> okay i said i wouldn't do late night recordings but here i am uh yeah, yeah that's my bad but yeah more of a stiff suspension is basically what i'm saying and, and that stiffness um definitely feel a lot more of the track but I, I actually really liked how that felt so probably not best if you're like doing a competition you could probably argue maybe not great overall but i just kind of enjoy that feeling that because that's what i'm used to that's what i remember that's how a lot of my friends irl uh cars are set up for the track so it is what it is i think it's just uh you know a driving thing and, and also like just to say too like uh you know in general i think a lot of people uh not a lot of you but some people have asked me for like tunes or for this or that most cars i have been driving basically stock with a little bit of ratio change welding the diff um setting the drivetrain values to all uh maximum to basically uh emulate a welded drift but this is actually my first time where i've really like spent time um try to think about how my tune is affecting my driving kind of analyze the different feelings and the, diff the different train changes and uh so like i'm saying all this to say that uh like really like i think that it's very dependent on you you as a driver and your driving style and i also say this like i'm not saying that i'm going to be committed to this uh forever but i am going to say like this is where i'm kind of comfortable with minus the grip again i think i i need to revisit the toe uh near the end of saturday actually was revisiting a little bit more of the tuning this next weekend i'm going to revisit again and uh hopefully with uh jerry's help uh shout out again to jerry uh, we can get 100% down, but I, I think we were getting in a lot better spot at the end of Saturday. But I think it was good that I learned and uh, was able to take this tune throughout all the different tracks and then really kind of see how this universal setup works. So now we move over to Osaka Sideways. I think this was actually in our rotation last weekend, I want to say. I'm pretty sure it was last weekend. Uh, this was crazy, man. Like, again I, I i'm not to like hamper on this but or hammer on this but like literally this was my train of thought so i'm just kind of trying to recap like i was just really frustrated like i was trying to follow people i couldn't even like maintain any proximity i kept trying to like do everything in my power to really like push it and the only way that i could do it really was either like taking shallow water lines or uh cutting lines and i just felt like that wasn't very respectful to the trains and there was a lot of good drivers out here so uh i ended up switching over and i was like you know what what can i control here what i can control is just working on these leads again the irony is not lost to me that it's called a chaser and i was doing leads but uh i was told that these leads were actually really good and it and it might make sense right the car was very smooth very followable uh probably a little bit slower than a lot of these other cars like i mentioned since i wasn't really doing very good on the chase and so there you go perfect lead car for uh for other people <laughs> just not a good chase car for me but uh i get it i mean i was just uh locked in i think we ended up running uh this like like basically me in the lead position for i swear like an hour straight is crazy but anyway uh we now switch to yz west so uh otm shout out to otm and f mons for creating a track list they wanted to give us a couple more tracks that some are known a little bit less driven some are not known and not driven uh we had a lot more tracks kind of uh in the pipeline but we did not get to nearly as much as i was thinking that we would um so we're probably going to revisit that here in the future and uh round out that track list so if you guys are interested they have some really really cool tracks some really like crazy tracks that are either a fun or b you never seen um and i think it's really a good opportunity for us as at least for me as a newer driver in uh so of course i'd really like understand where our ogs came from and really quick while we're uh, on this track just because this is the second lead that i have here basically doing transition kind of hard to see with the sun angle where this like track was to be honest with you as you can see it's hard to see probably in general you're going on the outside and then trying to hold that angle then big inside running near that wall as close as i can trying to take a more wide chaseable line here in the lead position here just a you know typical i guess a manji or a transition and then here you want to basically i think take either like a mid or inside line i think that line i took is pretty good actually um and then this section here out to the wall out to the wall and then uh just ride that out i used to actually struggle a lot with this track so um it was kind of fun to actually be able to drift a little bit more <laughs> and you can see um and also here of course with our voice chat slash uh, proximity chat boys just having a blast out there while i am uh 
sweating my ass off to put it lightly trying to uh give a good lead but yeah this was a really fun track <laughs> all right the voice chat is just so funny this is a really fun track uh i'm surprised i didn't like it before i think it was just really the entry part but with these with these cards i think it's a really good mix between uh power and grip and uh slide ability i'm not sure if that's a word but yeah these cars felt like they did pretty well on that track and i don't have any chases on that unfortunately like i mentioned so um again i was just really focused on leads on that track honestly probably moving forward on these on these uh tracks we're about to go through i was really focused on that but that being said we now switch over to another otm suggested track which is uh Pro proya motorsports center um, and I'm realizing center is spelled with an S, but uh, I copy and pasted from the name. So maybe I misspelled it. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. Anyway, this was a pretty interesting track too, man. Um, a little sad that there wasn't a track cam, but you know, I think these older tracks uh, are kind of like that. Also keep an eye out. I think on the chase position, we had a thunderstorm weather sequence, uh, which was really cool to see, especially with this flat plain-ish area or track overall. It was uh, really cool to actually see a lot of those because I hadn't really seen a ton of them up until that point. But let me talk to you about uh, a little bit of my thoughts on the lines. Again, we weren't on this for super long, so um, I'm not going to be perfect here. But basically taking that line uh, out into the outside, then pulling this on the inside. And then here you're going to notice inside line. Probably should have pulled it inside a little bit more. You can see on the track camera on the up top view, um, a really big slowdown for the rest of the people behind me. You're taking this inside to like middle-ish line arguably and then here to the outside and then kind of taking it all the way out there you can see me following those tire marks a little bit and then continuing to extend it direct into the inside pocket there inside zone here another transition on the inside zone and taking this probably mid i'd say maybe inside two uh mid line here to try to set you up for this corner and then here you just kind of uh throttle it out mid to outside zone and then transition to looks like inside but i would say like mid line and then you kind of let it stretch out to the outside zone there too and then a little transition spot here and then boom that lightning was crazy man i don't know if you saw it that was crazy man that was crazy watching back uh but yeah so here now we're on the chase position so uh i think this track was fairly new to every single person in this lobby minus the otm crews so um, you're gonna see a lot of people here just kind of like getting their bearings trying to see what lines other people were ride or driving and then uh, What lines are gonna work best for them? I think I was no exception and again as I mentioned before um, I was really str struggling with the proximity So I'm just trying to keep it close without um, Losing too much proximity and also not trying to take an aggressive line where it's unfollowable uh, Kind of you know to be honest like it's not it was a it, honestly if i'm being honest with you guys watching if you're still here man like it was a little bit hard getting myself to edit this video i just it was uh honestly maybe a little bit disappointed in uh the driving that i did but i i think it's kind of part of a new car especially with the tune um and part of learning and sometimes like i think you learn the best or you typically learn the most i mean uh when you when you take two steps back because it helps you understand what that step forward and then uh a lot easier to to, to make progress in the future so I really do think like the changes that we made even though for me as i would say i enjoyed the chase uh, a lot more than the lead uh was a really good experience for me to learn like how much tuning can really affect your car and the little things to adjust so as i learned man like this series is not only a recap but i think it's really uh maybe like i don't want to be cringy but a, kind of like an expression of my journey of learning and then along the way like i hope you guys can learn too and then we can learn together and then uh you know become better drivers and i, and I feel like we're on the 90%. Like, I feel like I've gotten a lot of my skills a lot better, but now this is like the next part. And, um, you know, doing something new that you have no idea about and something that's a little bit, uh, I, I would say it's maybe scary or, you know, I'm a little bit dissuade um, to do because I want to make sure I'm giving you guys good content and uh, footage. Like, the challenge to do it is good i guess is what i'm saying without going on a whole tirade here anyway that being said we now switch over to nola v2 now at first when i saw this track man i'm gonna be honest i was like dude i don't know like it looks pretty tight it doesn't look very fun um otm in my opinion likes these really big entry tracks which is okay but some of them are very technical and this one looked like a very technical track to me but after driving it um throughout this weekend i don't think it's super technical 
but I do think it's one of those tracks where it's like the lines will either reward you or punish you and you don't really have all that much room to work with so if you're looking for like a challenge track even like drifting by yourself and getting the right lines I would say it's probably arguable uh arguably more fun with others but uh if you want a track that's uh, a little bit more unique I think this is an older track I'm not totally sure um I kind of gauge that by like if there's a track cam or not which is not a really good gauge but I also have never really seen this track so to me um I'm just assuming it's older but but let's talk about the lines here now we're on our second lead even though I'm not really leading anyone but here basically throwing it in trying not to do a back if I can I was struggling on that um as you can see there and then transitioning here going to inside line and then inside corner to inside corner and then here if you hit this right you can actually run this continue the same angle throughout the section transition here go on the inside uh inside corner to inside corner and again you can kind of hold this out a little bit uh uh transfer and then here basically the same thing you can kind of run this if you set yourself up right your tires shouldn't go that far off like mine did you're a little bit of a manji if you want to i've seen people extend it transition to this point inside and then all the way to this outside set you up for this uh these two corners which you can go right through or into inside corner here uh, a little bit of a manji action into this uh, which i took a little bit too wide there outside um and i keep saying like inside line i think sometimes i'm, I'm actually meaning like inside corner um here a little bit of a, a manji action again and then here back to our big entry which is a little baby entry for me but we're actually going to switch into a chase position and now keep in mind uh again i was struggling a lot on this chase uh really with any chases so not doing the greatest job cutting a line is kind of hard to watch back but uh it is just what it is and i didn't really see anyone behind me at the time but now i'm looking back i see someone behind me so that's my mistake but yeah just trying to like pull it back in trying to get locked in with the train if i can uh you can see up top in the lead position we have uh otm turbo who is in his name a uh, very quick driver so i know that if i make any mistakes if i'm not locked in it's going to be just a struggle to catch up normally and then uh with the issues that i was having on the tune not being as uh, grippy as i probably needed it to i knew that i had to like kind of be forceful and aggressive you can see me cutting a lot more corners than i would normally like to do here doing a transition just trying to stay close to him i'm really feeling like there's probably a bunch of people behind me which there's three which is not bad um, but there's a lot of proximity from me to them and that's probably a little bit due to me a little uh bit of a manji here and then again going for a big entry we'll see how this one plays out i actually don't remember off the top of my head not terrible but yeah kind of going mid inside zone there is probably where you want to be not going to fully back uh looking for the inside corner inside corner there and again inside corner midline take it all the way out you can basically run that without too much steering adjustment if you hit it correctly which i don't think i did it perfectly inside corner here inside corner there and then again an extension tires on this little red and yellow or red and white wow inside zone is or inside line is what a lot of people were taking there again tires out on that section inside corner manji here outside setting myself up for this corner inside going to the outside here and then again a little bit of a manji action i cut the corner crazy there and that's uh terrible but that is what happened a little bit of manji here and then looking for that inside corner I extended a little bit too far i think uh, losing a little bit of uh uh, momentum and you can see right there behind uh messing someone up outside the inside corner here manji action here and boom we are back it's a pretty crazy track man definitely give it a whirl but now we switch over to evergreen raceway now this is a track i have not actually driven but i feel like i've seen it on Vossen or some other sites uh but yeah this is a i believe i'm pretty sure 98 percent sure this is an irl track and we are actually uh someone said in chat we were running it in reverse so i did have a non-reverse and again we did start on reverse so i figured hey you know we'll start on reverse but this is a pretty cool track man i do enjoy the reverse layout i think a little bit better but here little uh, manji action boom you run this outside bank which kind of feels crazy i think then uh either mid or like inside line to this part right here transition you kind of want to run mid i think a little bit outside maybe on that section dropping a little bit of tire then here taking a midline you have a little bit of a marker there and again like more of an outside line um 
I think it's a little bit of sloppy, a little sloppy right there, to be honest, watching it back. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically a track pretty straightforward, man. But uh, honestly, I, I did actually enjoy this track decently enough. But now we switch over to a chase position, chasing another chaser, a lot of chase words. But uh, yeah, I think like this was a new track again for a lot of people. So I'm just trying to stay close. I'm really trying to evaluate like what lines they're taking um, when I do leads and I'm not really sure like how I feel or like what maybe should happen or shouldn't happen. I like to kind of give a little bit more proximity here, probably honestly a little bit due to the car, but in general, I'm just trying to like really study what they're doing and see what I do or don't like about that. As we talked about in the series before, I think that if you do what I refer to as active driving, this can kind of teach you a lot and kind of say like, oh, okay, well, I see when they do it like this or when they take this corner like this, the rest of the train has a lot of troubles or when they take this corner like this, all of a sudden I get like a pile up behind me and I can feel them all hitting me, right? You kind of kind of learn, you can kind of learn in that way, even though you're not in the lead position in a P2 or a P3 or really anywhere in the train, except for maybe the end, uh, maybe arguably the end even, um, you can kind of understand like what works and what doesn't for those different lines. So I think it's a great opportunity to learn um a little bit of a disorienting transition honestly for me watching it back but i knew it was going to be because now we're going to switch it the other way and this is uh, allegedly the correct rotation of the track uh i don't know why like we did give it i think about the same amount of time for both uh layouts or directions uh we tried it this way and man like i don't know dude it just doesn't really flow the way that my brain wants it to i think a couple other people said the same thing could just be me i'm not sure also, we did uh, add rain into this rotation, which I thought was a really fun time. Uh, so it's a lot lighter rain, so it's not going to be too disruptive on visibility. I don't think too many people, if any, had performance issues. I didn't really hear of anyone having performance issues, but I, I thought that this was a really cool feature that, that we're having. We're still doing a couple voting uh, voting sessions for different weather types and durations and, and things like that. We always want to continue to make the server interesting and fun for everyone so again not to self-plug the discord but if you guys are in the discord definitely join in there uh we probably run a poll like every month or so i mean definitely every month at least but we've been running a lot of polls recently but now we switch over to fuji speedway and as i've stated before starting with yz west till now these are all otm uh recommendations that they gave us for tracks now, as I said before, OTM loves their big entries. I think there's something to be said about that, to be honest with you guys, where you have something to look forward to and kind of improve. It, I don't know why, but it's kind of like a dopamine. <laughs> like, it's like, okay, well, you know, I didn't hit that perfect, but no, next, next lap, next lap. And I always felt like that about clutch kickers. And now I think that that's why. But here, let's kind of talk about it. Not the most clean, uh, but here trying to do like a big entry, a uh, little bit too aggressive, I'd probably say there at that point. Um, and then honestly, I feel like the rest of this track, you're kind of just coasting through. So inside midline, um, taking that to the outside here and then going to the inside a little bit more midline. I'd probably argue actually now, and then transitioning, taking this line out, letting my speed carry again, you're going uphill this whole time. You want to make sure that, uh, speed carries up the whole way transition here. There was like three different paths as well in this section, but everyone seemed to be taking this midline, which I think is totally fine. I kind of maybe prefer that inside line here, but now you're going to be able to see uh, Professor and A to Z on the lead in P2 position. So really my goal here is just to try to follow them as best as I can. Um, I wasn't trying to be too aggressive on the chase. Again, struggling a little bit with the chase because of the tune that I had set up, but I'm just trying to learn on how they're taking these different corners and kind of what techniques that they're setting up i also realized too uh throughout this last weekend i feel like the e46 even though it doesn't seem like it i think that the front end is a lot longer than the chaser and then the rear end of the chaser for sure is a lot longer than the uh actual uh e46 so a little bit of learning on my side to have to get used to on the different ways the the track is actually or sorry the car is set up for the different tracks but here trying to follow them a little bit um taking a little bit weird of a line struggling a little bit on the proximity but i'm trying to visually understand like where my points are that uh rather where my point should be for that entry i think that's really important to visually have a marker of like okay when i get to this point um this is where i'm gonna actually throw it in or start my uh initiation and i know a lot of times in like actually racing they're gonna have brake markers and brake points and, and things like that so i think it's important for drifting too but 
we roll out the rest of this weekend over to lime rock this is the final one in the series this weekend actually it was a nice break to just kind of like kind of chill out kind of a a little bit of a cool down session it was pretty late in the evening and it what's crazy man like just on a side note like since i've switched to vr man i've seen so many times i've just lost track of time or i'm like oh dude well, like i think it's like this time it's like an hour after i don't think i've ended stream on time anytime this weekend <laughs> so it's crazy man i mean i know i'm uh i'm basically uh chilling out for vr at this point but it's hard to to not help it but yeah man as always the video just continues to fly by i feel like uh yeah it just kind of flew by man commentary hopefully it was enjoyable i know that there are like darker scenes but as i mentioned we will have the weather uh we did another vote everyone looks like, looks like they want to keep it now we're just kind of talking about the different types that we want to cycle through i think it's great for immersion and i think it's a really good uh in between of having day and night where night might have tracks that have uh bad lighting which hurt optimization i know a lot of people are not huge fans of uh having dark uh tracks i kind of enjoy it it's a little bit of how it was here irl in some tracks and areas but um yeah i definitely think it's a good in between for sure but other than that man yeah like we're basically at the end um shout out to everyone again as always for watching shout out to uh jerry for helping me with the tune man uh huge deal very thankful for his help and uh shout out to otm for the new track so we'll see i'm not sure what we have planned for this weekend we're gonna kind of play it by ear we might have some tracks that we want to test out uh who knows who knows but hopefully i'm gonna work on getting this tune in the right spot and then uh, i'll come back to uh ne the next video with uh hopefully some better news man but anyways thanks so much for watching guys uh if you have any comments we'd love to hear them other than that we have the rest, great rest of your week and i will see you in this weekend <laughs> all right later see you guys on track peace